Putin has repeatedly made inappropriate statements and demonstrated harsh behavior. He is also prone to changing his position, in particular regarding the goals of the so-called SVO. The behavior of the head of the Kremlin shows that he is a real psychopath. American lawyer Ed Steer shared his opinion with 24 Canal. Steer has worked as a prosecutor and has also studied criminal behavior and is an expert in studying the thinking of psychopaths. Psychopaths, he says, are especially dangerous because science hasn't found a way to control their behavior. The only way to deal with them is through the criminal justice system. All psychopaths are manipulative. They have no emotions, so they feel a void. Psychopaths learn to fill it with certain forms of behavior that bring them pleasure. They get it from manipulating and hurting other people, the lawyer explained. Psychopaths tend not to form friendships and tend to be loners. They can observe the feelings of normal people and exploit them. This happens both on the level of personal relationships and in the aspect of a political leader. The fact that they feel no fear means that they have no conscience. Therefore, according to Steer, psychopaths cannot distinguish truth from lies. They tell lies as easily as they tell the truth. When you look at Putin's behavior, it becomes clear that he is able to manipulate other people because he himself has no emotions. He can also exploit the emotional weaknesses of others. He does not hesitate to lie and cannot distinguish in his own mind between lies and truth because he has no conscience. It is extremely difficult to deal with such people, the lawyer emphasized. Vladimir Putin has launched a strange bid to dub himself the new Jesus Christ and take the religious high ground over his war in Ukraine. But in reality, he's a psychopath with an addiction to cosmetic fillers. British historian Professor Anthony Gleese of the Buckingham University Center for Security and Intelligence Studies has warned earlier. Before this, Putin compared himself to a new messiah and reeled off Bible quotes as he conflated his role as the president of Russia with having a divinely guided responsibility to defeat the satanic West in the name of Orthodox Christendom. Anthony Gleese told The Mirror how Putin's opinion of himself is deranged and that presenting himself as a messianic savior is a stretch. He said Putin is a psychopath who is unable to recognize his own mortality and is even using cosmetic filler injections to keep himself looking young. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday urged allies to allow strikes on airbases inside Russia with the Western-supplied long-range weapons. Ukraine is calling on the West to allow it to use the long-range missiles they have provided to strike targets deep inside Russia, as Ukrainian forces struggle to hold back Russian advances in eastern Ukraine. So far, the U.S. has allowed Kiev to use American-provided weapons only in a limited area inside Russia's border with Ukraine. Kiev officials argue the weapons are vital to weaken Russia's ability to strike Ukraine and force it to move its strike capabilities further from the border. Speaking in his daily address, Zelensky referenced Russian strike Sunday on Kharkiv, Sumy and Donetsk region. He said, every such Russian strike, every instance of Russian terror, like today's attacks on Kharkiv, on our Sumy and Donetsk regions, proves that long-range capabilities are necessary, and the range must be sufficient. Ukraine's 
проти нашої Сумщини, проти нашої Донеччини. Все це доводить, що далекобійність має бути і має бути достатньою. Ми очікуємо відповідних рішень. Передусім від Сполучених Штатів Америки, Британії, Франції, Німеччини, Італії. Усіх, хто може своєю рішучістю допомогти в порятунку.